Welcome to the game room. to the channel so alice has a cheerleading outfit so she's got skin her uniform her pom-poms her socks and shoes uh the loudspeaker bullhorn whatever it's called and that strap uh, she's also standing on a rock uh, that's why her that's what's under her feet so we'll cover that too so let's start with the skin i'm gonna go with uh tanned flesh and then we're gonna use a basic skin tone the basic skin tone is a much lighter than barbarian flesh um, and then we're going to mix the two together to kind of tone down that basic but it'll give us a nice bright foundation it'll give us a nice contrast and, and you'll see as we do this so uh, just be very careful let's get all the skin uh, her legs her hands her face and uh, we'll come back with the next color All right, with that tanned flesh done, like I said, the, the basic skin tone is much, much brighter. So we're going to hit the highlights, and then we'll mix the two together, and we'll, we'll turn that down. But that'll give us a nice, bright undercoat for that to, to give us a good, solid contrast. So you can see we're going to hit you know her eyebrows, her cheeks, her nose. We'll hit the tops of her legs. Okay, and here we're taking just some of the basic, mixing it in with the tan flesh to a color that you like. And for me, it was probably, you know, one to three, one to four. And then we're going over those spots that we hit with the basic. And it gives us a good contrast. And then we'll come back, of course, with the flesh wash later and it'll tie it all together. But again, we're just getting the high points and what the light would be hitting just to give it a little bit of a, of a good contrast. Volupus, 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 pink. Not really sure here. Anyway, we're going to mix that with uh, some of the contrast medium. And this is going to be for her uniform. Uh, the top part, there's a belt, which we're going to do white later. And then her actual uh, pleated skirt. And I kind of painted it over, but her hemline across the bottom, uh, I'm going to do that in white. So uh, I realized that after I just started painting over it, I was like, uh, I think this will look better white. So uh, if you do make a mistake like that, it, we primed it with gray sear. So take out your gray sear base paint. If you haven't got one, if you're using gray sear primer, you, you want to get the base paint to help cover up those mistakes. Um, and then we'll come back later. We'll do that in white. But uh, make sure you get the uh, the pink down into the into the pleats. Um, I, I use the contrast medium mainly because I didn't want the starch purplish pink color. I just wanted it a little bit lighter, and uh, I, I liked it. So mix it as you want. You don't have to mix it at all if you don't want to. All right, Griff Charger Gray and the Contrast Medium. And this is gonna be for the loudspeaker, for the horn that she's uh, carrying. And again, Contrast Medium into Griff Horn, probably two to one Contrast Medium. Um, 
it, it just you know to a color you like I kind of wanted a ceramic looking color uh, just because I used bullhorn years ago and that's kind of the color it was it wasn't it wasn't really gray but it wasn't really a whitish gray anyway I, I thought it looked good uh, and we're just going to do the whole bullhorn make sure you get inside um, the bullhorn too All right, another contrast here, the Griffhound Orange. This is gonna be for her hair. And on honesty, I didn't realize I was painting Daphne until somebody had pointed it out when I showed them a picture. They were like, oh, is that Daphne? Yeah, I guess I kind of was painting Daphne and didn't realize it. Uh, but again, uh, you've heard me probably talk about it in other ones. The contrast on hair, fur, things like that is really, really cool because as you can see, just with a single coat, It'll sit down in the recesses, making those dark. The upper, the, the top areas will be lighter, giving you that natural shadows, the natural shading. Uh, be careful around your uh, pink like I am here. You don't want to get the orange on it. The thing about contrast is if you, if you get one on the other, they are kind of a pain to clean up. So you want to be careful with them. Somebody had asked me, he said, this isn't really what contrast was designed for. You paint with them. Well. Yeah, contrasts were designed to help you paint mass armies quick, just like <laughs> slap it on. And I, I've i never really done that, except for like, you know, if I needed to paint like an army of skeletons or something. Hey, skeleton horde is great. Just glop that stuff on. Um, but I tend to actually paint with them. And as you can tell with these videos, you know, you do a pretty good job with them. Anyway, on to her socks, the belt, the strap for the horn. Um. Uh, we're going to just use a straight white. Any white works. Um, you know, pick the pick your favorite white and go with it. Uh, just use your standard bright white. Because uh, I thought cheerleading outfit. White shoes, white socks. Made sense to me. Now here we're going to use the same white on the belt. Just be very careful around your purple. And with that gray sear, even if you don't get all the way to the edge, that gray sear under will kind of give it a, a, a natural highlight too uh, because it's a little darker than your white and it comes up right against that purple or vulpus pink color. It will just kind of give you that natural separation so you don't have to get right up to the edge uh, just you know do the best you can and then we're going to touch up the edge around uh, the base of her skirt and then we'll also do uh, the blouse I think I when I did the blouse you can see the v-neck uh, I actually had that off camera so you won't actually see that and uh, and then we'll do the strap as you can see right there, the, the blouse under the, the purple is already done. So yeah, I kind of got off camera. All right, Black Templar. Now this is really just for that rock. We're gonna give that rock a base coat of black, and then we're gonna come back with a gray uh, once that's dry. Uh, but just get that rock well painted. Watch out for her shoes that you've spent uh, all this time on. Now you don't wanna get the black on, on her shoes. Uh, Apothecary White, we're gonna use this to shade uh, our white. And it's going to be her socks, her shoes, the belt, the strap, and her pom-pom. And again, Prothecary White is really good for shading white because it lets enough of the white bleed through, but it also gives it that shadow. So if you looked at something white, like socks or something, that it's not all bright white. You've got that shadowing, 
and the contrast uh, apothecary white does a good job of giving you those shadows All right, back to our skin, uh, flesh wash. If you watch the other videos, we use this a lot. Uh, and we're just going to go over all the skin. Put it on as heavy as you want to tie those together, uh, to tie the uh, the skin tones that you've already done. Uh, you've got, don't forget her hands, uh, her legs, her face. Okay, uniform gray, you can use any gray you want. Uh, I like this one, I use it a lot. And this is gonna be a pure dry brush. Get uh, a lot of paint on your brush, which is a stiff brush, and then wipe most of it off. I've got a paper towel right there. I'm wiping most of that paint off to where just enough so that when you run it across the edges, uh, that it'll, it'll pick up uh, on there. I talk about dry brushing in some of my other videos. Uh, if you're not really sure how that technique is, but it's just get a lot of paint and you know wipe the majority of it off. Um, here we're going back to the Volpus, Vol Volupus paint, whatever it is, and the contrast medium, mainly because after the pom pom dried, I didn't like the color. Um, so since it was apothecary white, uh, I just went over it, and that's what I'm gonna do here. And it kind of gives it a little bit of a different color, but not really. Um, it, it matches the rest of her uniform extremely well. And so that's why I went back. I just didn't like the... It was just... It didn't work for me. So this was our last step. And uh, Alice, a.k.a. Daphne, is uh, done. Now here she is up close. And again, we go for a tabletop three-foot standard. So how does she look from three feet away? Well, there she is on the table pretty close. But you can get a really good effect really well. I mean, if you're standing there you know, while playing a game, these models look pretty good from that distance. You can't see all those details because they're not there, and you wouldn't see them anyway. But the highlights are enough to, to get it down well. Uh, overall, she took about 40 minutes uh, to complete. She was probably the longest one I did. Anyway, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and uh, thanks for watching.